Hey there! Today we are going to be doing this cool effect, uh, this cool effect inside inside of cavalry. Come with me because it is going to be super easy. Let's go! Kinetic type series. series. So this is cavalry, and the first thing that we need, obviously, is a text layer here. So if you click on Alt or Option on a Mac and hit on the T, a text is going to be on the center of your stage or frame. Now I'm going to make it centered both horizontally and vertically. I'm going to make it way bigger. I'm going to change the text itself, wavy, yep. And I'm going to go for another font, for example, this one. This is a cool sensory font. And I'm going to close a little bit the kerning or tracking. Properly tracking set because it is all the letters. As you know, kerning is only pairs of letters. So in character spacing, you deal with the tracking. And now I'm going to apply this wonderful effect and where should I apply this wavy effect that we want to to get? So it's here in the deformers in text in the text layer. If for any reason you close this, it's just a matter of clicking twice here on the on the layer on the name, and the controls are going to be here on the left. So again, in the formers you see this plus sign here. This is a button, and if I go uh, if I open it you see that on the bottom I have this wonderful wave effect or deformer and if I apply it and you don't see it around again you click twice here and this is really cool we can play with the strength and with the mode we have some super interesting things happening here let's say that I'm going to stay with sign and I can also play with the or change the number of, of waves that are generated within the, the length of the letters also the amplitude here so this is extremely cool and then the travel with this we, we can animate it and yeah this is the sample points so let's say that this is cool i'm going to decrease the number of waves and i'm going to increase the strength like yeah it's just a matter of fine tuning it in a way so now we are going to uh, animate this effect and here on the right side of your interface you have the timeline and you have the playhead i'm going to go to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to generate a first keyframe here in travel okay if you go over the the number of the control here you see that this tiny uh, sign or symbol uh, appears and that that's like to set our first keyframe if I hit here I click I have the keyframe here and the same way as it works in After Effects I can move it around and I go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go to, for example, frame 60 here, and I'm going to change this very parameter. And that way, if I click on the spacebar, you see that I have this animation going on. Let's say that I want it to be the same length as our composition and yeah that's super easy also remember that if you don't see any control uh, or the panel that contains all the controls for any effect because you closed it or whatever happened it's just a matter of clicking twice and it's going to be right there also you can like collapse them to create more space and that's pretty much it 
Then for exporting this as a video, you only go to file and uh, here you have this option, the render manager, you click there and it's very, very, very easy. You add the composition that you are working on. Let's expand this a little bit and it's just the output here and the format you have several different formats like mp4 and then you find the folder where you want to export it and all and you just hit render so this was super easy but you can create very very different outcomes from this wavy effect see you in the next one Connect, Connect series. series.